What is COVID-19? COVID-19 is a type of disease which is a result of the novel coronavirus that has not been identified in humans before. A person who is infected by COVID-19 might have a wide range of symptoms. These symptoms include coughing, sore throat, fatigue, headaches, fever, chills, shortness of breath, difficulty breathing, muscle aches, body aches, new loss of taste or smell, congestion, runny nose, nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. The coronavirus was first reported in Wuhan, China. Later on, it was found worldwide due to how infectious COVID-19 is. The infectious nature of this disease sparked a global pandemic. It is believed to have an incubation of 14 days where an infected person can be contagious. At the same time, may or may not experience symptoms within the time span. How does COVID-19 spread? A person can have COVID-19 if they come into direct contact with respiratory droplets from an infected person who has coughed, sneezed, or talked. Another way this virus can spread is when tiny water droplets are released by the infected person lands on an object or a surface. This presents an issue if someone touches the contaminated surface and then rubs their nose or eyes, which can lead to infection. One of the more dangerous factors of COVID-19 is that someone can still spread the virus even if they are asymptomatic. Who is at risk for getting COVID-19? Unfortunately, every single person is at risk for COVID-19 if they are exposed. Some people are more likely than others to get very sick from COVID-19. Older people, in addition to people with underlying medical conditions, such as cancer, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, chronic kidney disease, serious heart conditions, sickle cell disease, and type 2 diabetes, are at a greater risk of having a more severe reaction to COVID-19. How can I protect myself and others from COVID-19? Right now, there is no vaccine to protect us against COVID-19, so the best way to protect yourself is to avoid being exposed to the virus. One way to do this is to stay at home as much as possible. If you are outside, avoid close contact with others. In public settings, be sure to wear a mask that covers your nose and mouth and fits snugly against the sides of your face. Some examples of acceptable face coverings include cotton masks and surgical masks. Due to shortages, N95 respirators should be reserved for healthcare workers and other first responders. While other face coverings are available, some of them are not as effective. Thin neck gaiters are not recommended to be worn in a single layer. When gaiters are stretched, the size of the pore becomes even bigger and viral particles can easily go through. Cotton and surgical masks have much smaller pores and so are better choices. Wherever you are, clean and disinfect frequently touched surfaces. These include tables, doorknobs, light switches, countertops, handles, desks, sinks, and phones. To clean, you should use either an EPA registered household disinfectant, diluted bleach solution, or alcohol solution that contains at least 70% alcohol. Wash your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. Or use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer that contains at least 60% alcohol. What's the best way to practice social distancing? Try to avoid any crowded public places by doing your daily activities online as much as possible, such as grocery shopping, going to the doctors, and banking. You may still go to places in person as long as you are following proper social distancing protocol. If you go to a public place, you should stay at least six feet apart, if not more, from other people. When touching objects or surfaces, disinfect it before and after use. If you're missing eating out at restaurants, try deliveries or takeout. This is also a great way to support local businesses at the same time. If you are sick with COVID-19, it's important to limit the spread and prevent others from getting sick as well. One tip for doing so is staying at home and avoiding public spaces and transportation to minimize your potential exposure with others. Another tip to prevent yourself from spreading COVID-19 is quarantine yourself from other members in your home. For instance, you can do this by staying in a designated room and having meals delivered. Lastly, if you experience COVID-19 symptoms, it is recommended to call ahead to seek medical attention rather than showing up and interacting with patients or medical providers.